Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to ghost ships sailing through each other. I mean, transport fever too. <laughs> what the? Oh, don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. So, <laughs> our train is going. I think we better fix this now. <laughs> All right, so I think what, I, what I'm going to do, this is going to have to be served by boat. I'm not going to run a train track. It's like 200 million. I, I, I just checked it. I tried to run from here to here, and it priced up at 200 million to run that. I'm not going to run a train track across there. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to keep a, a few train lines, uh, or a few, excuse me, a few boat lines. One is going to be taking wood directly from here, directly up to... A, uh, Ambleside, because I think that's where most of our wood is being used right now. Um, the uh, uh, another one is going to get well. This one here that's taking coal across is going to continue to take it. Then I'm going to have one continue taking steel from here up to here, and then I'll have this one continue to take food from here to here, and then we'll have one going from here to here with oil, which mm, I might already have one. And then we'll have one from here to here and here to here. So we'll have, have one that basically this, this will bring stuff across the, across the, uh, uh, water, sea, whatever it is. And then this will connect the island. So the island gets the things it needs. Uh, everything else then will be shuffled out onto, um, ships. So first things first, uh, let's see here. Let's start down here. So the coal barge is going to stay general shipping. Actually, you know what? Let's do this first. What do we got here? We got oil shipping. We got general shipping. Okay. So the general shipping, let's redo this. First off, manage line. You're not going to go to Exmouth anymore. Uh, what are you not carrying here? Oh, crude oil. Good, I don't want you carrying. Um, do I want you carrying crude oil? You know what? Well, let's just... We'll, we'll take that off from there. We won't worry about it. We're going to take off the Exmouth. And we're going to connect to here instead. I'm going to end up having to put another dock on there. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. And then we'll take, this should have one that's currently going from the um, Shepton Port up to Exmouth. Okay, that's good. So that's our crossing the river route right there. So let's come down here now. And the general shipping barge. We're going to sell everything off and then we will nix the line okay so that one's gone so we don't actually even need two docks here anymore I'm not gonna worry about it right now though this one should have its steel barge actually no we will need the second dock there the coal barge and uh, let's change the name of this to Bodmin Steel Shipping. And you are going to uh, be left alone otherwise, I think. That's going up to Exmouth, right? Yeah, because that's where I want it going. Because that's where all our steel is being used, is right here. So that'll be a direct route for that. We've already cleared that one. Do we have anything else on here? Uh, we've got the oil shipping. We've got that. That's good. We've got those two. What about this here? Uh, crude oil shipping. Oh, well, I forgot about that. Got crude oil and we've got general shipping. What I want is food shipping coming across. So let's go ahead and we will take this. And we're going to take this off. And what are you not carrying? Crude oil. Well, that's fine. I don't want you carrying crude oil anyways. You're going to come straight across here to pick up food. 
Perfect. And then here. No, let's go to here first. Uh, Castle Ford. Uh, let's change the name of this. Castle Ford Food and Grain Shipping. And let's see. Got the oil shipping. We got the Chester General Shipping, which we can delete. Okay. General shipping right there. Okay. Oil, crude oil shipping. Okay, yeah, so we've got two oil shipping going on. One bringing oil in, the other one taking it out. Um, I think... I don't know if I need that uh, the oil shipping there. We'll see. And then last but not least, this one here. The Ambleside General Shipping is going to go away. Uh, and this would be... An Darlington uh, Lumber Shipping. And we'll manage the line. And this is going to we're going to run this. And we will add this. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's gonna ease up traffic in here quite a lot. <clears throat> of course things are gonna to have to get shuffled around a lot now. Um, yeah, this I'm not sure. Do I want the oil just to go by train down to here and catch the oil shipping here? Or keep a direct oil line going here? We'll see. But for now, I think we should get our ships upgraded. Okay, steel shipping. And we'll upgrade to this, which we finally have one that handles everything, so that's fine. Crude oil shipping. Um, I don't think we need to replace that. It's already on the newest one. This. There. Refined oil shipping is already on oil. And the coal barge, we can upgrade that to the newer ships. Lumber. We're going to need more ships on this route, I think. So let's go ahead and... Let's triple the size of that. So we got 12 vehicles on there now. Horsham General Shipping. We will just upgrade these ships and leave it at that. 16 vehicles on that. That's probably overkill for that. The passenger ferry we can leave alone. General Shipping here. We will just upgrade these guys. Okay. So it's going to take a little while for this to straighten itself all out. Um, I think I need to add some docks down here. So what do we got? We got two different shipping routes coming here. So let's turn around here. Edit this. Oh, it doesn't want me to build anything off that direction. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we will move this up to one. There. So that'll make these two points our connection for uh, stuff going across the uh, sea, inland sea here. And just start putting some more uh, stuff on this. I already see a lot of uh, building materials going on there. Steel looks like it's keeping up. We are definitely not keeping up with wood. But I don't want to take wood off from this completely because it can go ahead and, and take this route up here, you know, 
catch shipping here to go across to here, and then catch that to go across to here. It's a bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but it's going to be fine. <laughs> Yeah, and you've got your two docks there. So you're fine. I think we've got all of this covered now. We have refined oil sitting here stacked up waiting to go out. We've got a lot of grain and a lot of refined oil to go out. Let's see. Grain-wise, we've got like, six ships, it looks like. Let's put two more on it. And our oil shipping. We've got eight. Okay, now it's got 12. Alright, so we put some more ships on that. And here we've got, we've got grain and stuff trying to go out on this. I really don't want grain and oil going out on this. Yeah, let's... Go right here to the main line. Manage the main line here. I don't really need... Refined oil... Or grain on that. It's gonna have to all go out by ship, guys. So there's no reason to run it elsewhere in order just to pick up a ship to go over to this. All right. 1938. Now we can pick up more coal from here. I think we need to get a second train on here. And what had I done to prepare the route for that? Uh, did I prepare the route for that? I think all I need to do is just put another track on here. That's going to be a problem. We're going to have to fix that. Take those out. Looks good. Could have just jumped onto the existing track, but I felt that was just going to be a problem if I tried to do that. So I think what I'm going to do, though, so I can get into grain on this, so I'm going to run this to here. That way, this track could be used for grain too, and we'll just put a diamond switch right here. Come on. Or not. I guess maybe put it further back. There we go. Okay, so then I can I can add on the uh, line for the grain here. So we can bring grain in. 
which could be a problem that may really <laughs> clog up our line going out uh, we'll see and then I've got one left here which I suppose I can split off from this redo this stuff here make it a two-way track and put the stone on there let's go ahead and get this set up okay Oh, that time it did it the whole way. Cool. Actually, I'm going to redo that. Take that one way. Then we'll take out this one and this one. All right, how far back did our thing make it here? Oh, we got... I'm confused. I don't know why I have ones right in the middle of this. Nope. There, there. I meant to have one. Right there. Okay, that works. Get two there, two there, and I can just get rid of this extra one right here I don't need. Okay. So now we can kick up the coal production. Where are you at? Here. Manage. No de Oh, I took the depot out. That's right. Uh, where can I put the depot back in? I had it right there. Don't know if I really liked it right there. Let's. I'm just gonna have to do something else with these depots. Let's put one up here. No, what am I doing? Why do I keep doing this? I set these up like this and they have to go the long way. There. Now we can grab you and duplicate you. Super. <clears throat> okay. Now stone. Now this will probably end up being picked up here, brought down here. I'm going to I'm going to have a terrible amount of stuff going on this line. I've got to figure out how I'm going to deal with that. I almost feel like I should have a station over here somewhere that's getting stone and f food and run it over onto the main line and have trains just dedicated to running those because they're going to be so full. But I really don't want trains dedicated to just that. Hmm... See, and now you want to carry coal. I don't want you carrying coal. Manage line. 
Then you were at the Darlington station here. No coal. Don't carry coal. Do not want you carrying coal from here. You know, suppose I could take the wood off from that altogether too, and just have the, the wood shipping line stop here on its way up to there. And we could drop off wood for both places. It's a thought. Yeah, let's try that. Um, okay, so where's my wood line? Lumber shipping. Okay. Uh, no. Add one. On here. There we go. Eventually. <laughs> I don't know why it takes so long for it to add. Let's get these in the right order here. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that's doing its thing. Probably want to put more ships on this. We got 12. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, now there's 20. Hopefully that will feed all the uh, wood we need up there out of the sawmill. And then we can come back down here to this and tell it not to carry any cut lumber anymore. Where is that? There it is. There. Okay. So that should hopefully get all pushed to the docks here. Now, food has to go clear up to here. So that's a long trek to put on. You know, it would almost be worth it to redo the station here. If I could. I don't know if I actually... I should be able to, so it can go two ways. And actually just cut right through here. And just run a, a track straight through there. And then down to these grain, uh, what you call it. And this one here really only has to go to here to go across uh, the water over to the building supplies place. It could even re really be carried by ship. The, the coal barge could, barges could carry it over here and catch the train here on up. We shall wait and see, I suppose, how that works. Uh, let's see what else we got going here. We've uh, tried to increase our coal output, so we're going to need to increase our iron too. But I think you know, we might actually be better off on iron. Yeah, because we got iron stockpiled. We got lots of iron stockpiled. We need coal more than we need iron. So let's leave that alone. We've got some wood up here that could be coming back across here. We could actually. Pick up cut lumber, come up here, drop some here, drop some here, come back, pick lumber up here, and bring it on down to here. So that would work out pretty well. Let's see about getting this connected in. How would I go about doing this is the next question, though. <laughs> um... Okay, let's try this first. Buildings. This. This. Oops. Come on. There we go. Alright. So let's see. If we have this over here. Come on. Connect to the road. There we go. 
Okay, and then over here. How is this going to work? Okay. So we got that. And we run a track straight from there to there. And it doesn't like it. <laughs> what do you dislike about it? Besides the fact that this is the most crazy bit of track I've ever seen. Okay. Okay, so we have them connected. Let's edit this. Okay. All right, let's try this. Um, wow, this is just such a close mess here. No, <laughs> that's not going to work. Hmm. What if I did something like this? Let's take this off from here. Um, it's not what I want. No, 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 still not what I want. Come back here. Turn this around. I want to reconnect it to the track we've already got, but... <laughs> Since that's right right in the middle of a hill, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Oh my god, how am I going to manage this? Maybe I don't need a big long station. Let's go for a 160. We'll put it right here. Up, down, down, there we go. Connect a road to it. Okay, that connects to that just fine. Because we don't actually have to have the platform the full length. No, no, it screws that up. Okay, let's get rid of this. Can we... Please just delete the track and not every tree. All right. Now, let's get what if we connect to there? So it'll come in here, it can stop and pick up and do all that good stuff. I'm, I'm going to have to screw with that a lot, aren't I? And then, what if it comes around this direction... That's a really screwy curve. Let's do this. No. I like that. Let's come up to here. And then we come around to here. And then we make our curve into the station. Or maybe curve... <laughs> come on! Quit giving me grief. Curve out of the station to it. Too much slope. <sighs> Alright, let's...
bullets. That looks like that works. Does that connect? It sure looks like that. Beautiful. Okay, so picks up wood, stops, picks up wood, comes all the way back down around and delivers it there. I think that works. And then it's going to be up to these guys who already look like they're overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, let's expand this cargo platform. Oh, yeah. Wow, uh, that's already a mess, isn't it? It's going to be an even bigger mess very soon here. Mm-hmm. This side is dropping off stone. Well, nothing we could do about it now, but just get the set up and see how it works. There, to there, to there. And this would be Shepton. Lumber camps, freight. And let's see, we will, uh, put a shed like right up here somewhere. Well, not like that, no. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Now we'll put the shed at the end of the track instead of doing it that way. Okay. And let's grab a locomotive. Let's take this. Don't want the universal state car, just want the regular one. All right. <clears throat> Doc seem to be doing okay. This we're going to have to do something with. And I am not sure what, because it really looks to me like we've got as many trams on here as we could possibly put on here. Looks like we might have more than we need for uh, this. Well, no, they're, they're not emptying that entirely, so maybe not. Do I have them stopping up here? And waiting till they're full? No, I don't. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll make it nope. That'll make it a little easier for me to tell if we've got too many too many trams on there. And this one down here. City deliveries. Yeah, they're just continuously running. But yeah, I think it's got it, so they're coming out, they're going down here. Going in, dropping off, coming back up this route. So I don't think we can really fit any more in there. Though they do have this emptied out now. What's the problem? Do I have no electric on some of this? Tools, electric. This is station electric? Yeah, that's electric. This is like, why are you telling me you, there's no electric? There is definitely electric. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, whatever freaked it out, it's fixed now. 
All right. I think that's going to be it for today, though, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.